Hello, this is Sarah Meehan from Concentris. Today, I am here with a short and sweet tip regarding generating customer statements. So uh, as you've probably seen, if you've used the customer statement interface, it's pretty simple and straightforward. There aren't a lot of options that you have as far as uh, generating those statements, but the options that you do have have a pretty big impact on the statement that you generate and the content within. So today I thought it would be helpful to walk through the options that you have and show you how changing those options impacts the statement that is generated. So I'm in a demo environment and I'm on a customer record and I'm gonna take a look at the financial tab. So here I can see this customer has quite a, a lot of open activity. Uh, they have some past due invoices it looks like. So we want to generate a statement for them to show them that activity and help to drive them to issue some payments. So I'm gonna to go to actions, generate statement. So it preloads the customer name the statement date, which is by default today's date, and the start date of the statement, which is by default one month prior. I'm just going to go ahead and print so that we can see how these settings impact our statement. So I'm looking here at the statement that's generated and you can see that the only line here is dated 12-3, so the start date, and it's just a balance forward line. So it's not giving me a whole lot of information. I'm gonna leave this open so that we can continue to use it for comparison. Then I'm gonna come back to this statement interface. I'm gonna start by changing the start date. So what I'm doing here is I'm pushing the start date back to the beginning of last year so that we have a more complete picture of their activity. What this does is this will determine what is visible as individual lines within the statement or what is included in balance forward. So basically what I'm saying is that as of 1-1, I want to see anything that occurred as a transaction as an individual line item. Anything from 1231, 2018 or before is gonna show up as a balance forward line. So let's go ahead and print this and see how it looks. So this is looking a little bit better. I have my balance forward as of 1-1. And then I have some individual transactions here. But what's kind of strange is that I can see all of these totals, but these totals don't match up to the amount due here. So there's uh, some gaps. So let me go ahead and jump back over to this individual statement page. And I'm going to make the same change that I just did, adjust the start date. But this time I'm going to uncheck show only open transactions. Now when I hit print, it's going to give me a full register of all activity that has happened, including closed transactions. So I have here some invoices that we don't see here. So here we only have six invoices. If I look here, I see additional invoices, including some more recent invoices that have already been paid off. So this gives me a more complete picture and I can also see payment activity. So I can see that some payments were made in November and December to bring the balance down. And this gives me a more accurate and complete overview of the activity in my account. So if I'm really concerned with showing a full history of the customer's account and all of the activity, I would push this balance for uh, the start date so that the balance forward came over as zero and it included all transactions as individual line items. So depending on how far back we may need to go, let's say I'm gonna take this to 1, 1, 2017. I'm gonna uncheck show only open transactions and print. And now we can see my balance forward is zero. And this gives us all transactions that have happened from 925 forward. So this is a, an overview of the customer's entire AR activity with the organization. So I can see things like credit memos that were applied and payments and deposit applications, get a much better overview of the customer's purchasing activity and their payment history. So 
consider playing around with these options here so that you can generate the data that you're looking for. It's possible that you might be comfortable showing a balance forward, or there may be certain instances where you actually want to itemize line by line each invoice and payment within the customer's history. You can choose whether or not you show open transactions. And last but not least, if you adjust the statement date forward or backward, that will indicate what invoices are shown relative to due date. So if I change this um, statement date right now, we're generating anything up to 1-3. But if I had future dated invoices in the system and I wanted to show those for some reason, I can actually push this date out, say to 5-1, and anything that was after today's date, but before the statement date would also appear in their statement. So hopefully this information is helpful. Um, like I said, there aren't really a lot of options here, but choosing the options and configuring them correctly does have a pretty big impact on the statement that you generate. So we went from this one line showing just the balance forward to this very detailed statement that has all of their line line level detail for every transaction payment credit memo all of the above and um, you know it's just a lot more detailed so the choices you make here will have a very big impact on the statement that you're able to show your customer hopefully this is helpful thank you so much for watching <laughs>